This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Roof. Yeah, we got Brandy B back on the channel with a nice fourth place finish at today's OTS Championship. Somehow. 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 Sometimes you get just a little bit lucky. Yeah, yeah. Rub of the green. We'll take it, we'll take it. And of course he was playing... The same thing he always bloody plays. Well, no, I haven't been for the past, like, three months. Yeah, but as far uh, as I'm concerned, it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. One big join-up of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Any comments on the deck before we get stuck in? Um, I mean, it did feel terrible. I've been playing Sword Soul for the past, like, three months, but it's just lost its edge. And yeah. I was like, do I really want to play a going second deck? And I was like, yes, but not Sword Soul, because it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, but not Sword Soul. Yeah, so... So you decided to opt for Cyber Dragon, and well, it served you well enough to get in. It's it's fine, yeah. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it went well, and the matchups I had, I was super cool, so. Okay, awesome, cool. Um, before we carry on, guys, if you haven't already, obviously hit subscribe. And if you're looking for any Yu-Gi-Oh! singles, check out the channel sponsors, Jam Jam Cards UK. Link in the description, use code RUFIO15 for 15% off. Okay, take us away when you're ready. Yes, so, we are playing Duke, so we are playing Triple Cydra. Yep. We are playing Triple Core because it's the best card in the deck. Yep. We're playing Triple Purse because it's the second best card in the deck. Yep. Uh, only one Nashta. I'm not playing Desires. Like, you only use it for recursion. Any more than one is just dumb as Rome. Yep. Uh, two Soldier, same kind of thing. You don't really want to open it, you want to be searching it. So, you only ever need to. The third one won't come out. Uh, the one Jizukuru, which I got to get. Um, I had to get um, convinced to play, but it actually came up a lot today to out stuff like a Dragoon or a DPE. Yeah. It was actually really nice just having it. So, we've got some hand traps. We've got Triple Nib, Triple Ogre. And then Gamma Package. All the hand traps. Yeah, like, it was okay. Um, obviously, based is just insane, but I got lucky enough not to play against it today. The closest thing was, like, um, Pure PK, which I actually did. But yeah, they're the best hand traps we have. Uh, and then we just got the, the bricks. The bits for, yeah, the bricks for the Dragoon. And then moving on to the spells Triple Emergency and the one Repair Plant. I mean, you, you would not run any less than three of that. You wouldn't run any more than one of that. Uh, and then Triple Prosperity. Can't play Desires, it's only one. Um, this is the best card you can play. It's not a draw card per se, but it's the only real thing we can play to add consistency, yep. other than the regular stuff. Speaking of which, Triple Doop. Whee! <laughs> and yeah, if you play Cyber Dragons, you just always open this in the target. Of course like, you do. It, yeah, it's just ridiculous. Uh, one rev system, just in case, you just open core, you go core search this, link off Brown Mirage, use that to bring back the core, go into your Verte Maker Dragoon. Yep. And then it's nice recursion. Like if you have a Nashta in Grave, you can bring the Nashta back from Grave this and then bring back your Nova Dragoon Infinity. So, yep. yeah, it's useful to have. And then the Verte targets. Yep. Overload if we want to kill. Red Eyes if they have a lot of monsters and we want to kill. Or we go first. Sure. Uh, and then last spells, we got Triple Cyclone, just to get rid of the side. Yeah, she did come out once today, so that was nice. Cool. <laughs> and then we've only got a few traps. We've got Triple Imperm, because it's kind of like the, the other best hand trap we can play. Yeah. Uh, and then just the one overflow for when we go first. We have everything else. We have a little bit of extra interruption. Card's still very strong. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't target. It doesn't vanish his cost. You can pop like up to three things at once a lot of the time. It's pretty good. Uh, move on to the extra. We're playing to Nova 2 Infinity. I did always end up using both of them. So, okay. Yeah. I'd, I'd consider this minimum to, to be honest. Maybe you could play one, one Nova, but it's, it's not fantastic. Uh, the Mega Fleet, Fortress, and the Rampage. So obviously that's one of our Verte targets to kill. These two are to get rid of something in the extra deck, which is Kiru. Kind of just need to play those at least. You could play like a second Mega Fleet or a second Rampage, but it didn't really come up. And then the Dragoon. Wee! Very good Starlight. card. Oh yeah. Uh, I definitely own this. This is my card. Right. <laughs> uh, moving on to Lynx. We've got Access, Unicorn, just for some removal. To be honest, neither of these came up today. Uh, and neither did these actually, the Liner and the Sega. Um, one of the OTKs requires Sega, but I never ended up getting to that point because a lot of time it would just be make a Dragoon, burn them, and then hit them. 
Yeah. So, yeah, these are like really just flex spots to be honest. Like you could play as Zeus or something. And then Liner, I figured it would be smart just to help climb into access, but it just it never came up. Maybe that could be a Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, yeah. Those those are just flex spots to be honest. And then the Verte to kill or make a Adrian. And then Link Rebo Almirage. Um, to be honest, I'd probably cut this as well. You could play a second Almirage just in case, but really it is only for linking off like a core or a hers turn one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Extra is the main bit I'd say needs some work, but there's so much room. It's like, what do you want to play? You could play more Caesars like the Mana or um, Pleiades. It's, yeah. Preference. It's, it's yeah, it's preference. They're not important spots. Uh, we'll go to the side deck. Uh, more hand traps. Here. Yes, more of good hand traps. Triple draw. Lancey was really good. Droll was kind of like if I had a couple extra spots that I needed wow. to decide and I'd chuck it in and it was yeah. fine. It won me a game against Dino, which was nice. But yeah. Um, and Triple Bell. Also, same kind of thing. If I had a spot or two, it would go in. This card isn't going to win you games of its own, but it's good enough to run in the side, I think. Yep. Uh, a couple of twisters just for that extra bit of um, back row removal and the reboot as well for if I came up against a back row deck like Eldritch, which it didn't, but I still think it's worth running these. Yeah, a little bit of back row hate never, never hurts. Yeah, and like, yeah, like you can't run like Lightning Storm or anything like that. I'm already running Cosmic, so Twister is the next thing. Sure. Um, and then the last bit on the side, we've got Rivalry. We It's a good card, yeah. <laughs> the one time I saw it, it won me the uh, match, but um, I didn't see it otherwise. Okay, fair enough. That's that. Okay, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. Really appreciate it. Anything you would change about the deck? Um, main deck wise, it was fine. I'm playing 45 cards, I should have said. Um, yeah. But it seemed consistent enough. I mean, if you're playing Gamma in the main as well as Dragoon, you are going to end up drawing those bricks. It's something you just got to deal with. Mm. It only really came up once for me today, and I managed to open all three at once, which is fantastic. Excellent. Um, but I still think it's worth playing them. Yeah. Uh, extra deck is the main bit that needs work. Um, but there's like, there's nothing really, it's missing. It's just it's just preference. Like I was saying, like a Zeus, a Pleiades, of Amano, just those other Xyzers, all different link monsters, but they're not ever going to come up. Like, you could play something really spicy like Selene so you could go like line or something something that go into Selene you have enough spells on field and grave then you go straight into access but I doubt it ever come up oh, um, fair enough. and then side deck was it felt really good to be honest um, <laughs> The format we're in at the moment, it's just like cards like Dark Rulers don't work. Um, no. Ah, I don't own droplets. Ah, play droplets. Play droplets. What, what happened to your droplets? Um, redacted. Redacted. Yes. <laughs> Bit of a story behind that one. Yeah. They ended up soggier than they should. Have. Oh, and not the way you'd hope either. No, yeah. I like being soggy, but not like that. That was, that was full on torrential. Torrential. Mm. Fair enough. Okay, well, thank you very much for taking the time to the profile. Congratulations, of course, on the top. Very big well done. I'll try and feel good about it. Feel good, feel good. It's a top, a top's a top. Yeah. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for taking time to do the profile. Uh, any, oh, any shout-outs? Oh, of course. Um, Shout-out to Lewis for helping me build the deck. Yeah. Because um, I'm not good at building decks. And he yeah. helped me out a lot. He was the one who suggested the Jews Period, like I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Thank God, because it won me games. Uh, Shout-out to Manus of course, giving us the place to play. Shout-out to Jam Jam for uh, supplying me with this guy yeah I don't own it I, I lied <laughs> had to try and flex anyway yeah, 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 yeah. the, the side gangs aren't mine little flex little flex uh, and then shout out to Joe for being an okay YouTuber thank you very much uh, I'll take that yeah, being yeah. an okay YouTuber alright thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile once again congratulations on your top thank you and I'll see you guys in the next one